Well, good morning, everyone. Today I'm in KL, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The sun just rose behind me. Today I want to go to the Batu Caves, which is a very common tourist place here. Um, so these are natural caves where Buddhist temples got built into. And so far I did minimal research about that. I want to go there by public transportation. So um, yeah, I will show you how that's done. And um, so far I know just a few things. A, beware of the monkeys. B, go early because it's hot in the afternoon. And C, go early because it's raining in the afternoon. I think I'm prepared for everything. So let's see how it works out with public transportation. Come on over. Step one, get a train ticket. And um, there is one issue. I went to the ATM and got some cash and the smallest bill I got was a 50 ringgit bill. Now I typed into that machine that I want a ticket, which is dirt cheap, like two to three ringgits. But it only takes, well, it doesn't take a 50 ringgit bill and it doesn't take credit card. So you have to buy something cheap and get this smaller or ask politely if someone's gonna change it for you. So that's kind of an issue, but nothing unsolvable. Let's go. So the plan is to go from KLCC, where I'm now, to Pass Salazini, and then walk over to the other train system, which goes to the Batu Caves. Hope that works out. this bridge, cross the river, there, go to the other station, and there's a train running which should lead me directly to Baden Place. I guess I need another ticket, I will confirm that later. Can I get a ticket here? Yes. I want to go to the Batu Caves. Yep, number three. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. So this seems more like an, an, a, a train train uh, in opposition to a subway or so. You need another ticket, um, but you could buy it at the counter for cash. Actually, in hindsight, I maybe could have done that at the other station, but well, problems come up, you solve them. Um, so I guess see you at the Batu Caves. My train just left, so I gotta wait a bit. Didn't catch it. becoming increasingly complicated. I took the wrong train. So I traveled to Rabang, which is to the north, northwest of Kuala Lumpur. And I need to get off the train now because I obviously had no ticket, but the, the controllers were very friendly about that. Um, so I will try something else. I will try to get a cab or a grab which is the local Uber because, because there is a highway directly to the Batu Caves from here. I saw that on the map. So I hope that works out. So you now know to take extra good care if you're taking public transportation to the Batu Caves. Well, I met a friendly officer here at the counter and he advised me to go on this train and get off at Sungabulo and get a cab from there, which will be way more convenient. So, let's see if that works. Sungabulo. So, 
so I at least made it to Singai Bulo. And now just need to find a cab or a grab. I didn't get a free Wi-Fi, so I either have to ask someone for that or use a regular cab. One of that should work out. Are you free? Yeah. Could you get me to the Basu cave? Basu cave? Yeah. Okay. How, how much is it? Okay, 30 yen. 3 yen. 30? Yes. Yeah. Good to go. Well, finally made it to the Batu Caves. That would have been quite easy if I didn't... Well... So you see, there are multiple ways to get here, but yeah, you'll finally get here. Just if you mess up, don't lose your nerves. Talk to the friendly people around here. Everyone's really nice. And now, let's have a look at that. So do not leave you guessing, I will drop some Wikipedia knowledge here. There, it seems there was actually a guy called Surapadam who did some deeds to Shiva and therefore she granted, uh, he granted him that nobody could kill him, only an offspring of Shiva who would be brought to life without Shiva mating with a woman. And so he took that a little too much to his head and enslaved the world and tried to kill the gods and so on and it's a really bad guy. So Shiva created Murugan from the flames of, of his forehead and that's that's the guy right there. That's, that's him. And he's kind of a god of war of Buddhism and Hinduism. Please, this, this is just, I just read that. Um, and he seemed to have slain that evil guy and so everybody's happy again so I guess that's the reason why we'll, they put up a 42.5 meter high statue of him. So that's, that's a badass motherfucker over there. Well, this is now the entrance to the Batu Caves, uh, which is behind the stairs. The monkeys didn't really pose a threat because there were a lot of people playing around with the monkeys and just doing stupid stuff and the monkeys were stealing their stuff and they got crazy. So if you behave calm, that's very easy. 
And now behind the stairs is the entrance to the actual natural caves into which the temples have been built. The colors and so on on the stairs and downstairs were, were very impressive. And I'm really looking forward to, to all of that being merged with the wonders of nature. Impressive place. I forgot a thing about the story. When the, the evil guy was defeated, he um, he like confessed or asked for forgis forgiveness. I'm, I'm not sure how to portray this correctly, but he got uh, therefore got granted to live his life as a peacock in the form of a peacock. So there are a lot of peacocks displayed around here, and signs ask not to photograph them. Um, I, I of course will obey, and I'm. I'm already not talking too loud here because this is really a humbling place and I will I will try to not talk too much here and just let you enjoy, enjoy the pictures and get back to when I'm outside. Very, very humbling place and highly recommended to, to visit. So I'm finally back in Kuala Lumpur downtown and I didn't get a chance to wrap this experience up. This was such such rich, rich, colorful experience that I figured I, I need to have some, some quiet place to wrap all of that up. I mean, these caves are just... I mean, I, I, I get the people who build a, build a church or a sacred place there since it is, it is like a cathedral nature build it or nature would build like nature built this cathedral and it's it's a gorgeous and beautiful place what's kind of strange to me is that all these these tourists like like me are going there and I'm not sure if man this is hot <laughs> I'm not sure if that's strange to the believers or unpolite or so I, I at least felt kind of bad and and at least put a donation there since I felt like I at least have to, to give something to the place but yeah I highly recommend it oh and on the way back I took the train so if you take the train which looks like a subway and not like a real train you are pretty much on the safe side and it will lead you right there on the inside of the train are blinking lights which indicate where you are on the whole uh, track which is not the case in the wrong train I took, which took me somewhere, but not to the Batu caves. So I hope you, you enjoyed the trip also, and you had a smile on my cost, on my detour, on my wrong turn. And I enjoyed it very much. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this, click the thumbs up down here or leave a comment, what you liked, what you didn't like. and. Yeah, I guess just have a nice day 
and I will keep exploring downtown here a little bit more. But that's it for the Batu case from my side. Thanks.